iRobot, Terminator, The Matrix, all movies about dystopian society that has lost or is in the process of losing to robots and AI. iRobot slaps, by the way. But can we use AI to make our day-to-day -day life better, easier? AI, or artificial intelligence, is a rapidly growing field. It has the potential to revolutionize many aspects of our day-to-day -day lives, from healthcare to transportation to education and entertainment. I mean, look at this. We're making a video about it right now. Revolutionary. But AI is already making strides in many significant improvements in the way that we live and work. One of the biggest advantages of AI is its ability to process large sums of data quickly and incredibly accurately. This allows the AI to make decisions and predictions based on real-time information, which can be incredibly useful in a wide variety of situations. For example, in the healthcare industry, AI can help doctors and nurses diagnose, treat patients super effectively. What it does is analyzes medical records and other data when it comes to patients, and AI can inform doctors on important insights and things that it notices that may pertain to that particular patient. It can offer insight, recommendations, different things to test for. This can help doctors and nurses make more informed decisions when it comes to a patient's care. If we shift over to the transportation industry, <laughs> see what I did there? AI is also playing a big role over here. Self-driving cars, for instance, they're becoming more and more common every day, and they rely on AI to navigate roads and avoid obstacles. This technology has the potential to make our roads and highways safer. It could even reduce the need for human drivers in the future. There's been plenty of instances where there is driverless taxis. Um, Tesla allows driving. Well, let's, <laughs> we'll move on from that. If Elon could maybe just focus on creating better AI for his vehicles instead of releasing Twitter documents and hot political takes, maybe we'd be getting somewhere a little fast, <laughs> a little faster. But AI isn't just useful in, in the industries of healthcare and transportation. It's also making our everyday lives easier. For instance, AI powered virtual assistants like Siri and the Amazon one right behind me can help us manage our schedules, find information, forget to silence alerts on our cell phone, and can even control our smart devices in our home. And as AI continues to improve, these virtual assistants will also continue to improve and become even more useful in the future. Now, the chat bot that I'm about to show you is called ChatGPT, and it is so smart, it could take your job. It can be used for free right now on chat.openai.com. <laughs> Thought it was .org for a sec. And some of the stuff that it can do is pretty cool. Let's take a look at it. Do you remember that critical windows error that I released when I first launched this channel? It was a ticket that I was working on. It took me like six hours to figure out and Google was not my best friend in that adventure. Let's see if ChatGPT can help us out with that, right? So if we remember the error was how to fix critical error, start menu, not working. So if we just type and ask it, now you remember the thing that worked for me and not guaranteed that it would work for you was a PowerShell command. So if I ask it this question, things have appeared to change with this thing. So maybe it's still a little bit dumb yet, but I do have proof that it did work earlier. So I'll throw that up on the screen right now. I asked it the same thing, how to fix critical error start menu not working and it gave me the exact PowerShell command that fixed it for me. I don't know why it's not working now. I'm sorry I'm unable to help with this specific issue, but it works just fine. Like few hours ago so it's still but as you can see here we also said how to fix no Wi-Fi on a laptop instead of it telling me that it was too dumb to do it it came out with a list of how to fix this issue uh, and most of it is pretty good information restart your laptop and your router sometimes a simple restart can help resolve it uh, make sure that the Wi-Fi is enabled uh, you can do this by pressing the Wi-Fi button on your keyboard like FN commands so it knows what it's talking about there check to make sure your Wi-Fi network is working properly it's a good it's a good first step a third step, I guess. Check to see if there's any available updates with your operating system. Uh, and if you're still unable to connect, you may need to perform a factory reset. That's a little that's a little nuclear, but it's options, right? What else can we ask it? Let's ask it. Um, one of my monitors is blank. Let's see what it says. If one of your monitors is blank. There's a possible few reasons for this. Here are some steps you can use to troubleshoot the issue. Make sure that the monitor is powered on and connected to your computer. Duh. Uh, check the power cable and the other cable. Try restarting your computer. Uh, 
check your display settings and make sure that the correct monitor is selected on the Windows computer. Uh, telling you to go to display settings. If you're using a graphics card, connect your monitor, make sure that it's securely seated to, in the motherboard. Here we go. I just had to reword it a little bit. I'm getting a critical error start menu not working. This thing can also help with code as well. If you don't know how to code something or you're trying to code something and it's not working out, you can put it in there and ask it what's wrong with it. It's, it's very intuitive. Uh, PowerShell command to fix start menu not working. So if you don't know any PowerShell commands and you're interested in learning some PowerShell commands, you can ask it, what are some PowerShell commands to do said thing? I asked it to fix the menu, the, the start menu not working error, and it came up with some of this. I don't know exactly why it's not giving me the exact information um, from before. That is so weird. And I really wish I would have made this video yesterday because uh, I mean, according to the image that I showed, it answered it correctly. I mean, it, that gave me the answer that was that was correct, but that shouldn't take away from it. So the other day, actually, I opened this on my work computer and was using this for certain things that I might not uh, fully grasp or that I had questions on. And I thought, well, why not just try it out at work and see what happens? So let's say maybe a brand new IT person that just got into the field isn't too privy on Active Directory. So what if we ask it uh, how to disable a user in Active Directory? We'll see if it gives us anything here. To disable a user in Active Directory, you will need to use Active Directory Users and Computers Snap-in. Here's how you do that. Open Active Directory Users and Computers Snap-in. You can do this by clicking on Start and typing DSAMSC into the search bar, or you could just type in Active Directory Users and Computers and open it that way. Navigate to the organization unit that contains user account you want to disable. In the right pane, click the user that you want, uh, the user account that you want to disable. Right click, select properties from the context menu in the properties window, go to the account tab and in the check box next to account is, and check the box next to account is disabled. This is, this is correct. The way that it explained it probably isn't the greatest. I can't show it because I'm not on a server, but I mean, typically you could just go down to the search bar and type active directory users and computers, open that. And then you would go to, uh, you'd navigate through the organizational unit off to the side there, find the users folder and remove it. Um, so it definitely does have some good information. Let's see uh, how to log into a router. You'll need to know the IP address and the login credentials. That's correct. Open a web browser, type in the address, typically 192.168.11 or 01, may vary. Press enter, navigate to the router's login page. And it goes through and just gives you instructions on how to log into a router. Well, <laughs> what do I need to make videos for? What else can we ask it? How to, oh, how to reset Windows and keep your files. I made a video on that. If you want to reset your Windows operating system and keep your files, you can use the reset this PC feature. Look at that. I made a whole video on that. You could have just went to chat GPT and asked it and it would have outlined a bunch of why am I making this video? So we know that it can be used for some IT stuff. I don't know what happened. It did go down last night. Something might have happened uh, where it's not able to answer that question for me anymore. That was the main question that when I asked it and I saw the answer, I was like, holy shit. However, it as soon as it got in front of a live studio audience, it decided that it didn't want to perform. How many planes take off each year? Difficult to say exactly as the number can vary depending on number of factors. However, according to the International Air Transport Association, there were approximately 38 million scheduled commercial flights in 2019. Keep in mind that this AI does not know anything after 2020, I believe. 2021 and beyond, it might be anything after 2021. It is not trained on those events, so you cannot ask it about the whole Kanye debacle, and you can't ask it about Yuffie and that whole drama. Anything after 2020, it is not trained on as far as I know. So it will not be able to answer those questions. Now, along with IT stuff, what else could we do with it? Um, let's see, let's ask it to give me uh, some computer related video topics, how to build a gaming PC, how to choose the right computer for your needs, how to speed up a slow computer, how to protect your computer from viruses and malware, upgrade your computer's hardware, clean up, organize, Troubleshoot common computer problems. Some of these are pretty good ideas. That's cool. What else can it do? Can it uh, write a short story about Alex in a zombie outbreak? Sure. And it will sit there and it will actually write out a short story 
about Alex in a zombie outbreak. I was no longer alone, and I was able to find a sense of community and purpose in the midst of chaos. Beautiful. One more cool thing that this thing can do. Believe it or not, this thing also has the power to create video scripts. If you haven't guessed it by now, this entire video was scripted out by this AI. The future of AI is exciting. I know that a lot of people have been posting videos and showing off things about the, the brand new like art AI that's creating art based on keywords and things like that. That's been around for a little while, but I think there's it's, it's getting a huge surface now. But it's also pretty scary. Okay, we, we talked about movies like The Matrix and Terminator and iRobot. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited or worried about this technology. Subscribe to stay up to date on all my latest content, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.